When the Miners of Texas Western were crowned as national college basketball champions, it represented a resounding victory for the defense. As good as they are in other phases of the game, the Miners excel at defensive play. In the years that Don Haskins has been coach, they have always ranked among the nation's top five defensive teams. Naturally, Texas Western spends a lot of time working on defense. Here is Coach Haskins to show and describe some of the drills he uses. Any college basketball team these days can score big if you let them. That's why we emphasize defense at Texas Western. And defense is a team job that takes a heck of a lot of hard work, not just in games like this one, but in hours of practice drills. We normally start with a skeleton offense. Four players standing on spots, passing the ball. The defense works on getting good floor or team position. We want to cover on the point of the ball with the guard sinking toward the ball as it's passed. A man learns to give proper depth, then get back quickly. You always want to see both your man and the ball. We think the most important part of our defense is away from the ball. Now we put the offense in motion with a two-on-two -two drill. We like to have your front foot up if you're covering the wingman. This gives you 90% view of the floor and makes you harder to pick. Guarding the other man, you should jump toward the ball when it's passed, putting yourself between your man and the ball. We always think the direction the ball is passed. If you don't loosen up toward the ball, you can get beat easily, giving your man a chance at a jump shot or a layup. Another four-on-four -four drill teaches the importance of moving toward the ball. When a pass is made, the defense should loosen up with the ball. This is not an individual defense. We must have help away from the ball. We tell our players, keep your defense together. Keep it in a knot. The player's stance is also compact. You're in a low boxer's crouch, hands down, palms to the floor. Your feet should never be parallel and your weight should be on the back foot. The hands must be carried low if you're to have a good defensive posture. Later on, after you've learned proper footwork, you may go after a bouncing ball or stray pass. Another two-on-two -two drill has the offensive guard screening for a forward. After the guard passes off, he comes inside and screens. We tell the man receiving the ball to go over the top. But the important part of this drill is that the man carrying the screener must loosen up to help. You should never switch if momentarily you are going to help on the screen. Anytime you are carrying a screener, you must loosen up to help. The whole principle of the defense we use at Texas Western depends on the team play. We use drills like this all year long to get our players accustomed to helping each other. Sometimes it takes quite a while to overcome strong individual habits. Here, for instance, the player covering the man receiving the ball goes behind the pick, and the man carrying the screener just stands there. I can't emphasize too much the fact that good defense is team defense. In a game situation, you've got to help your teammates cover their men, and you expect help in return. Long hours of drilling make your reactions automatic when the chips are on the line. In this one, we change out with the ball, emphasizing the two offensive players who are changing on the offside of the floor. We do not want our defensive players following him. We want them filling the middle. We have one drill to teach the postman his correct position. Most people cover a postman by getting behind him, reaching over him. In covering a good postman, we don't want any contact whatsoever. In our system, you play loose and in front. As the ball goes away, you loosen up. 
we would rather have you lose sight of your man momentarily than the ball. Our postman can be in front because he has confidence in the other four players. We feel that if you cover a good postman inside, you don't do it individually, but as a team. Defense is a matter of beating somebody to a spot. We try to drive people off their practice spots. Defensive basketball is being able to stop the other club from doing what they do every day in practice. When a ball goes into the air, it's a loose ball, anybody's ball, and responsibility is shared. In our dressing room, at halftime or after practice, something else gets shared. Refreshment. Ice cold Coca-Cola is about the quickest refreshment around. And it's got a taste the boys don't seem to get tired of. The cooler is a pretty popular spot for everybody, players and coaches alike. Back on court, we're teaching the defensive player to turn the offensive man from sideline to sideline, to drive him away from his desired position. Coming down the floor, we tell our point man to make him turn in one direction, so the other four people will know whether to tighten up or not. If he is trying to take the ball to a certain position, we want to turn him away from it. The direction the ball goes, he will tighten up. In the opposite direction, we loosen up. Our high postman rotates to the side the ball is on. The guard covering the man with the ball goes over the top of the pick. The person covering the post always rotates to the side the ball is on. We constantly try to turn the ball back toward the middle. This is an important part of our defense because when you drive the ball toward the middle of the court, the other four players have a chance to help. In the next drill, we use a wingman and a high postman, teaching the boys how to go over the top. The defensive player goes over the top expecting help from the high postman, who should immediately revolve to the side the ball goes to. This drill emphasizes again the importance we attach to team defense. Every man must feel secure in doing his job, counting on his teammates to do theirs. Going over the top, for instance, for a player to feel secure, he must feel that he is going to have help from the defensive high postman. You will notice that as these drills get more advanced, our players don't forget the basic fundamentals, proper stance, good court position, and team play. Now we are dribbling over the top and defensively the man covering the high post must help. He must step out and help, and of course we say help, not switch. He helps just momentarily to let the defense catch up. In this drill most of the time, we let the high post man go through and the players get to the place where they can help and also get back. One of the differences in our style of play is that we never switch. The defensive high post man should be on the side the ball is on and then revolve with it. He should keep moving with the ball and reassume his position. Finally, let's look at defense on a typical baseline play. If the player gets picked on the baseline side and goes to the baseline side, it gives his man that little time he needs to put up the shot at the basket. We think this is wrong. We ask the defensive player being picked to go over the top of the screen. He can be more effective and get there much quicker. Against the triple screen, the defensive player goes over the top, splitting the difference between his man and the ball. This puts him in a good position to cover the pick. Like anything else, good defensive play on a basketball court takes a lot of hard work. These drills pay off for us at Texas Western.